There's this kind of underlying assumption that smartphones themselves are particularly good at distracting us. They're kind of addictive in inverted commas. Is that actually right, Carissa? You've been reporting on a study this week that suggests that maybe that's a myth. Yeah, so this is a slightly amusing study, actually, mm. as it found that we tend to be distracted the same amount, no matter whether we have you know, easy access to our smartphones or not. Like, we'll find some other way to, to not work. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that does seem quite fitting. So it tracks. Check. Yeah, it tracks, <laughs> definitely. So a researcher at the London School of Economics and Political Science had 22 university students and office workers spend two days either working as normal on their laptops with their phone within arm's reach Mm. or on another day with the phone on a separate desk nearby so that they had to stand up to go and get it. When they had their phones to hand, they spent 23 minutes on average doing leisure activities on them versus 60 minutes when it was on the other desk. But the funny thing is it didn't mean they worked any longer on the second day. They just spent the same time doing similar leisure activities on their laptops instead. I guess the message is it's not the phone itself that's uniquely distracting. It's probably the things that you want to do on it, right? Social media, online shopping, booking a holiday. But it's quite important to get to the bottom of this kind of thing, right? Because there is evidence that in some cases phones can be really beneficial. So we don't want to sort of needlessly demonise aspects of them, especially them being this kind of all-powerful distraction in our lives. 